So today what we're doing at Hillman Marsh uh, is, uh, is restoring uh, a section of our land. We have 118 acre wetland here um, that's a managed wetland. Phragmites is an invasive wetland plant that's come from uh, Eurasia. It's an extremely aggressive, fast-growing plant which is, allows it to take over um, wetlands very quickly and very dramatically actually. What it does is it creates large uh, dense mats of vegetative material and it excludes other kinds of uh, native plants from, from a wetland specifically um, and wildlife has, has very little use for Phragmites as food or for cover or for any other reason. So stage one of the project was to involve some high school students and actually go out and map out the Phragmites with some assistance from the IRCA GIS staff who were able to map the Phragmites from an aerial perspective to make sure that we knew exactly where all the Phragmites was in the wetland. Once we knew where all the Phragmites was, we were able to get a, a, a contractor to go in uh, with some very specialized equipment um, and spray all the Phragmites uh, in a very site-specific way and, and not spray out all the other kinds of flora that we have in the area. Today what we're doing, we're getting rid of one of the most invasive plants. It's a huge habitat restoration program is what we're working on. And that's the enemy. We use a very fine spray. It's almost a mist. And we get like 100% coverage. You spray over top of the plant, and then it just goes down. You want to get the top third of the plant, you want to hit the leaves. Because as you can see on the bottom, there's no leaves. It will not translocate through the stem. And then finally, we, we do a follow-up uh, in the fall, where we actually go it again in map to see if there's any spots that he missed. And if they did miss, um, then we do a hand wicking with the herbicide. The hand wicking is, is another form of treatment. Ultimately, you're, you're simply using the same herbicides in a very targeted way. You're, you're only targeting the plant and or the cutting technique where we actually do some follow-up treatment to try to get rid of any Phragmites that uh, is remaining. Um, knowing that uh, we have to come back to this wetland now year after year, um, and keep on top of the Phragmites that may pop up in order to keep this wetland as healthy as possible. Over the course of time, uh, those, uh, those Phragmites stalks, those dead Phragmites stalks, will decay, they'll, they'll fall down and, and decompose, um, and they'll slowly be replaced by native wetland uh, plants.